When we started recording this episode, I thought we'd be talking about inter-process communication and parallelism. What ended up happening was a huge discussion about Linux and Rust and C and the future of software. It's a long episode, but I think you're going to enjoy it. Welcome to Compose. It is our third episode, and I have the author of a crate, in fact, a couple of crates, who has the best logo that uh, I think I've <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> Thank Do you, you want to <laughs> describe the Z-Bus and the animated GIF or GIF that <laughs> greets people on the README? There must be a story behind that. Sort of, yeah. We, uh, the, uh, so there's a logo and then there's the, how do I call it? Uh, it's an illustration, actually. Yeah, that's what you call it. Um, and yeah, this is done by uh, Jakob Steiner, uh, a great artist. Uh, he works on GNOME. He's a designer. Um, and the um, logo is done by uh, Tobias Bernard, who is another GNOME designer. So as you can see, I'm very well connected in the GNOME world. Um, but the library itself, um, I would describe it as just create that makes you helps you talk debugs, right? It's an yeah, inter-process communication protocol and a lot of system system services on Linux, they use that. So if you want to talk to, let's say, System D or Network Manager and Modem Manager, all of, all of those, that's where you need Dbus. And when you, and that's where, how most people come to this library. They all of a sudden, for any reason, they need that, and they look around and they find a few libraries and Zbus. I would say myself, it's it's the best one that you can find because a lot of people are porting away from the the old one that already existed. For me, one of the greatest compliments was when one of my friends, he was not interested in Rust actually for a long time. And then when he did do Rust, he was doing some Dbus and he used Zbus and he said, oh, this is the reason I would love Rust now. And this is the reason I, I, I want to do all my Dbus stuff in, in Rust because of Zbus. So that I really felt so good about that when that happened. So yeah, it's not, there, I, I don't know of any wrappers for Python or anything, but I'm pretty sure they, they, they can be made. And I think they would be much better off than the C versions, the wrappers for C APIs. The rest of the episode is just a click away. We'll see you there.